In this video, we're going to look at solving the system of equations by graphing. Uh, solving the system by graphing is probably the easiest method of all, especially if you have a graphing calculator. Uh, usually, the only difficulty uh, involved uh, using this method is uh, that if any of the equations are not in slope-intercept form already, which is what the calculator requires that you enter uh, them in. Um, so let's take a look at one to start. Here's one. y equals negative 4x plus 5 and 5x plus 7y equals negative 11. So actually in this problem we do have an equation that one is in slope-intercept form, the other is not. So we need to go and rewrite 5x plus 7y is equal to negative 11. So I just come out here. Um, again, I want to solve for y. And if I subtract 5x from both sides, 7y is equal to uh, negative 5x minus 11. And if I divide both sides by 7, I get negative 5x, excuse me, negative 5 sevenths x minus 11 sevenths. So that is not a very pretty um, equation to try to um, graph by hand because that y-intercept uh, is a little messy. Uh, but it's pretty easy work on the graphing calculator. Uh, so again, let me rewrite what our equations are so we don't lose them. 4x plus 5 and y equals now negative 5 sevenths x minus 11 sevenths. So again, I did not really change, I didn't change anything. This system and this system are the same thing. I just wanted to rewrite it so I could enter it more easily in the calculator. So let's go to the calculator and I want to go to y equals. Uh, my first equation is negative 4x plus 5. My second equation, uh, I like to put parentheses around fractions if I write them in this method um, with a with a division sign. If you use the fraction uh, feature of the calculator, uh, you can get away without the parentheses, but I just, uh, I'm a little afraid sometimes my order of operations will be messed up if I don't use parentheses. So I'll just go ahead and do that just to be on the safe side. So I have negative 5 sevenths x minus 11 sevenths. At this point, I'm going to graph it. And I believe it's in the standard window, but in case it's not, remember zoom 6 will give you the standard window, and that uh, is indeed the standard window there. So now that I have it graphed, my next step is just to find the intersection. Uh, so that's actually easy work on the calculator. I press second, trace to get the calculate menu. I want option number 5. You can either arrow down to it or press 5. Then it gives you these, this dialog on the screen. Uh, and this is one of the few features on the calculator that you really don't need to enter, think too much about the questions it's ask, asking you. It asks you three questions, first curve, second curve, and guess. You can just press enter for the first one, enter for the second one, enter for the third one, and we have an answer. It says our intersection point is 2 comma negative 3. So the solution to this particular uh, system is 2 comma negative 3. And again, that's what uh, the graph screen looks like.